Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dolly Deja here. Welcome to my crochet channel. In this vlog, it's going to be like a little crochet diary. I'm working on a custom order for someone. They want a pickle and a crochet Chucky doll. So for that Chucky doll, I'm going to use my Hello Kitty Chucky pattern. And I'm going to modify it with his skin tone and I'm going to add the hair. And the hair part might be hard, but we're going to figure this out together. So, and if you guys are interested in this pattern, it is on my Etsy and the finished the finished plushie is on my website. Other things we're going to be working on is some birthday gifts. So I'm going to be making one of my cousins a bow bag. And my other cousin a little BMO plushie. And yeah, that's all we're going to be working on in this video. So maybe another project might come up. Maybe I get another custom order. But we'll see throughout the video. So first I'm going to get started on this custom order and get it out the way. And I'm going to ship it out once they send the other half of the, um, the payment. So first, I'm going to probably just do the easiest thing, which is the pickle. Let's get started on that. Got to get started on this pickle. This should be real quick because it's literally just a pickle, like, with little bumps. <laughs> So I guess my Wi-Fi is not working. Like what? Like I'm literally trying to crochet and watch like TV. Like, All right, I guess the Wi-Fi is back on. Sorry for the temperature in but I hate when I'm like. This happened yesterday. I was literally like, I was literally making like a thumbnail for one of my videos, and the Wi-Fi went out. Like, why would I'm over here being productive using my internet for business stuff and YouTube? Wi-Fi want to go out. guys I got the little pickle done I mean I'm just gonna sit that there I guess I'm at to start on the Chucky I'm not gonna start on the head because I have to get the eyes and I have not went to Joanne because I have work later so most likely we'll go Friday morning I should just do, actually I'm about to do a pickup order so it can already be there and nobody takes them all. So yeah, okay. We're about to start on this Chucky. I cannot wait because like this is different and if I really like it, I'm going to make me one. Start getting my Halloween stuff ready with this red for the feet. So we're going to start with the feet and stuff because I'm not starting with the head. I don't have the eyes. And then I'm just going to show you guys the process. It's going to be a lot of color changing and stuff. So yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, I kind of just woke up from a nap, but I got some of the feet done, and I do have work in like an hour, so I'm going to just do a little I can. And then when I get off, probably, I'm not going to do anything, but I hate when I, when they put me on a clothing shift, and then the next shift, I work a morning shift, so I have to get up in the morning and go right back. And I hate that so much, but... Oh my girl. At the July 4th sale, save $500 on Tender Breeze mattresses. Get matched at Mattress Firm, sleep at night. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since the last clip and I've been like doing stuff and I've not been working on it but I just got started on like the colorful part of the body and um it is I don't even know what day it is Tuesday I hope to get this done by the end of the week maybe because it is like the 4th of July week and I'm not saying I'm gonna do anything but hopefully I can get this done by this week because I like to get my custom orders done by like two weeks and it's almost I think it's been two weeks now I want to hurry up and get it done and get started on the other birthday is because those birthdays are coming up faster than you think like two weeks so I need to get those birthday gifts done and yeah so I'm about to work on this okay y'all don't mind me but I got the body done not the legs not the arms or anything but I got the body done so now I'm working on the head. I still don't know where I'm going to put the eyes. I got... Oh, okay. Okay, so anyways, I still don't know where I'm going to put the eyes at. And I still don't know how I'm going to do the hair yet. It's either I'm going to do red hair or orange hair for Chucky. And I don't know because his hair is like orange. But it's already a lot of red. So I don't know. So I still got to figure that out. And I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do the hair anyway. So I tried to curl my hair. As you can see in the last clip, my hair was in a twist. And I took them out. I mean, it's alright. Maybe I should do the flexi rods I'm still trying to figure out because I love the curls they're cute but anyways we're not about to talk about hair anyway but I'm still working on head I've been slacking but I am about to go to Benihana in a little bit I don't know when though but I'm just gonna show you guys me crocheting this I literally just woke up from like a two hour nap. I was supposed to get up at eight. I set a number. T I didn't even hear my timer go off. And I just woke up at nine. So I think I'm going to finish this Chucky tomorrow in the morning before work. All I got to do is finish the arm. Do the overalls, do the hair. And then we're done. But right now, I think I'm at to work on my cardigan. I've been wanting to work on. I haven't worked on, like, my own crochet project in a minute. So, I'm about to do that for the rest of the night. I don't know why I'm so... Because that hibachi just got me so sleepy. Like, that nap felt like I was, like, sleep. Like, I wanted to go to sleep. Like, go to bed. I was about to go to bed. But I woke up. I was like, I cannot just sleep my day off. Look at this girl right here. I don't know what she's doing. She's like rubbing her hair on the floor. Peppa! Hi right, girl, come over here. Look at her, just laying. Girl, what you doing? <laughs> well, let me work on this crochet project. Maybe. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Does not have hair yet and at the moment I'm 
working on the overalls and with my Hello Kitty pattern the the little designs on there is hearts so I guess I'm gonna embroider like the little overall little details like that Chucky has on his thing I am done with the overalls and look how cute they are oh my god it is so cute it's so adorable and I did the little pocket detail just to like you know spice it up so now I'm gonna put it on him I love Chucky so like I want to do it big like I want to keep him now like you just see but I still have not figured out the hair I'm gonna do I'm guessing I'm gonna do orange hair and I'm going to show you guys when I start getting started on the hair. I don't know if I'm going to start that today or not. I might start it tomorrow and then work on my cardigan that I want to do. Three days later, I'm not done. So I'm not even showing you nothing. Basically, I just put on the overalls and then 4th of July came. And then the day after 4th of July, I went to a get together and I worked. I've been working and holidays. So... I have to work on the hair. I decided to go with the color orange. And also the my custom order customer just sent rest of half of the other money. So as soon as I'm done, I'm sending it out. Then I can get started on these birthday gifts. And I also want to get started on another project. It's going to be in a future video. And I can't wait to work on that video. Just hope everything goes right. But yeah, um, I need to figure out the hair. I literally don't know what I'm doing yet. I guess I'm gonna just do it. I don't I really don't know what I'm doing yet. Like I don't know how this hair is gonna turn out. So I don't know if I'm gonna film me doing it. I'm just gonna work with it because I don't wanna just film me doing something, taking it apart, doing something, taking it apart, doing something. I'm just gonna just chill and just figure it out, experiment. And then once I get done with the hair. We're going to get started on the little scars and the eyebrows and stuff. And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking of doing... I know I said I wasn't going to record me doing it. But I was thinking of doing, like, a circle. Like, a circle to fit his head. Like, basically a shell. And then, like, crocheting hair on it. Like, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, hold on. So, basically, I'm going to make a big circle to fit his head. And then I think I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to basically like sew like strings of these and then like tie them like this. So the hair is going to be like this. I'm going to make it like this because this is the, the polyester yarn so it can come apart if it's not like if it's cut like that. Or maybe I could cut it and then burn the ends. But I might have to do that outside because I don't want the fumes in here. But I was going to do it like this and then like crochet it in the hair and then tie it like under the shell hopefully that's secure and then maybe tie them all together so it's like all like very secure because I don't want the hair falling out but I do have some like inspo pictures I want to show I don't know if I could do this like have like a little bald spot in it I don't know I probably won't do that but basically I think I might do the hair like this. Y'all see what I was talking about? Like the hair like that. This like this. So, oh shoot. So I think I'm going to do that. And we're going to see how it works out. It's going to be so cute. I would love to make another one of these. So if you guys are interested in my custom orders, just email me or DM me. I'll see the emails faster. Or if you want to fill out a form in my link tree. So yeah, that is what I plan to do for the hair. And I will see you guys when I start doing it right. Okay, okay, actually, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do this because it's like, it's going to make the head like, this is like an extra layer of the head and it's going to be like weird. I'm going to try to like, like sew it on. I'm taking it apart because I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to do that. Okay, y'all, we gotta we gotta solve this together. So 
I'll show you guys what I can figure out. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of figured. <laughs> I kind of figured out what I'm gonna do for the hair. So I've been tying it around. What? I want to keep it like this. Oh my God! Look at it. <laughs> All right, so I still gotta figure out the middle part. <laughs> middle part, but yeah, this is it. Uh, I'm gonna just do it this way, keep it pushing. And lighting it isn't bad or anything but I've been doing his hair look at this but yeah it's getting there just got to do the top part I mean yep just gotta fill up the top no like this actually cute like I want to actually do his hair like now I want to make a doll like with hair cuz like look I can literally put in a ponytail y'all don't mind my fan sorry about that I can literally put in a ponytail. It is done. I did the hair. I think it's good enough because Chucky's hair is not even like when he's all beat up, his hair look a mess already. So we're gonna keep it realistic. Alright, so here's the reveal. Chucky! Yay! Look at him. Oh my god, hold on, let me look. Make sure he looks good in the frame. This is Chucky. There he is. He got the scars and the hair. And yes, is there a couple? There's a couple ball spots. And listen, I don't think nobody's gonna be looking in the back that much. But yeah, this is from my Hello Kitty Chucky pattern. And look at him. He's so cute. Did a little detail, some of the overalls. Got his outfit. I didn't. I ended up not doing the shoelace part, cause I feel like that's what that was. It didn't look right, so we gonna keep it simplistic. And yeah, there it is. And here's the pickle they also ordered with Chucky. So I hope you enjoy your uh Chucky doll. Thank you so much for ordering from me. I really appreciate it. We're gonna pack that up once they send the address, and then in the meanwhile. We need to get started on my cousin's bow bag that we're going to be making. That shouldn't take too long. I don't know if I'm going to start that tomorrow or today. We should just get it all done so we can relax and start this new project I want to work on. I think I'm going to use this yarn. I need to wind it up because look what happened to it. So, yeah. So, I'm glad that's done with. Now we can start the bow bag. And then after the bow bag, we're going to start the BMO. And then Alright guys, so next day... Um, I got some of the bow bag done, so we're basically just going around and around until we get the length we want, make the straps, and then we pinch it, and then we sew it together, and then we make a, a little thing that goes around, and then you button it, and then it's going to be a bow. But, yeah. It could have been a faster project if I chose chunkier yarn, but this is the yarn I had, and she wanted pink. I'm using half double crochets as well, so it'll build up a little bit faster, but it might take a little second. Probably not too long if I just focus on it and do it. at this width I think this is good and then we're supposed to like pinch the two middles and it already looks like a cute little bow already so I think we're gonna stop at this width wait width length whatever so we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna make the straps 
I don't know if I'm gonna film that part because I'm about to hang with my sister or maybe I could just put it on pause but anyways this could get done in one day so yeah I'm just gonna do this also the pattern is from Mahu I don't know how to say it I'm gonna put it on the screen Good morning. So in the last clip, I was making that bow bag and I did finish it that day and I wasn't really satisfied with the results. It just feels like too light. So I think I'm going to line the inside and I also did make it a little small. So only like lip glosses and little things can fit in here. So there's the bag. So it's time to pull out my sewing machine that I have not used in a while. I just went in my closet, got my sewing machine out, and I think I'm going to line the inside to make it a little bit more heavy. Because it just feels, I don't know, it's just too light. The yarn I used was the Big Twist Value yarn. And it's just, I wish I used a bulkier yarn, but I didn't have it. And I didn't feel like going to the store. So, yeah, we're going to line the inside of this. Oh my god, this is stuck to this. We're going to line the inside of this bow bag. I also want to show you a couple things real quick. So, it was in my studio vlog when I talked about what happened at my other markets when the little boy put his face paint on my earmuffs. And I tried soap and water, I tried detergent and water. And then somebody recommended acetone, 100% acetone. I also tried that and it did not work so the blue stain is still there and I am upset. I'm going to enforce rules at my booth now. Just I'm going to speak my mind like if I see a kid about to touch something and it look like they have face paint or food on their fingers I'm just like no I'm sorry. So yeah I just want to update you guys on that problem. Okay another thing I wanted to show you guys was this fan I got from uh, Wal not Walmart, Target's Dollar Spot. Because in my other market vlog, as you know, it was so hot and my vendor neighbor had a fan. So I got this $5 light up desk fan from Target. And it also lights up. And it works good. Like, it feels good. And it has different settings. So if you are doing any outdoor markets, I recommend you getting a portable fan because it's hot and this one works pretty good for five dollars go to i would check five below and stuff first do not spend over five dollars on a portable fan because this they're supposed to be five dollars or like less than ten dollars so i want to show you guys that fan i pulled out the sewing machine here it is and i pulled out my fabric pin and I think I have plenty of like scrap fabric we can use. I have fabric that I bought and I never even did anything with it yet. They were impulse buys. It smell good in this box. So I guess I'm going to line it with some strawberry. And I think I have flower fabric. This is a project I want to do. Make a bonnet. I guess I can line it with like these little flowers. I think they'll go good. But also the strawberry will be cuter. Alright, let's get this sewing machine set up. So I have not used my sewing machine since I lived with my mom. And that was in like November. I don't even know if I sold in November. So it might have been way before November. I don't know the last time I made something and lined the inside. Oh, perfect. We got our bobbin is already pink and loaded. So here's my sewing machine. Cute little stickers. And my aunt found this sewing machine for me. I got it for cheap. What I'm going to do is, I'm not going to take the shape of the bow. I'm going to unbutton it. And just do basically like a rectangle if I can. I don't know. It's, it's been a while since I've used a sewing machine. So I kind of need a refresher. So this is my little drawer. This is my little... um. This is my little sewing, my calf jewel basically. And I got this from Joanne, like 60% off with my discount when I worked there. So, we have our threads in here. Here's the thread we're going to be using, pink. 
And I think we're going to need these. Definitely going to need my scissors. Oh, it's been a while since I sewed. I really miss it. I wanted to do, I also used to make tote bags for my business. And I stopped making them because they don't, they don't sell. I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't display them good. But I even bought fabric for them. And maybe I can make like pouches or something with these Animal Crossing and these Hello Kitty fabrics. Plug to the sewing machine, which I almost forgot I needed. So I will see you guys when I get this all set up. And I'm just going to show you guys me sewing it. This is not really a tutorial of how to do it. My chair is a little bit too high, but I just found the perfect scrap. Like literally, this is the perfect scrap I ever found. And on top of that... And then I get my little pencil, my little tracing pencil out. Okay. Let me use the pen. Oh, look, first mistake. First mistake, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to tell you in a second. You don't trace it exactly where the bag, at. The bag is at. You're supposed to trace it like with a little bit like of an inch. So basically like a little bit over, not exactly where the bag is at. See, look, I forgot what it's called. Seam allowance. Yeah, I see. Yeah, we almost forgot the seam allowance. I'm going to trace that over there. Okay. I'm supposed to pin it down? Question mark? Oh, it's been a, it's been a while. I'm going to keep saying that too. I'm just going to pin the middle. I really need a refresher. I need to go on YouTube and look up how to sew again. I know how to do the sewing part. I hope I don't forget any steps. Like put down the foot pedal or something and blow up my machine or something. Okay, we pinned it down. We're going to cut this out. stupid because I just forgot which one was the top and the bottom I think this is the top okay that's the top so now we're gonna pin up here and you're like pin like that yep because we're gonna no that's the top we don't we don't sew the top so we're gonna do the sides see so look it's been months since I did this it's been months all right so now I haven't even loaded the machine with the thread I'm gonna do that we're just gonna sew around like that and then that's just that part and then we're just going to insert into the bag and then sew the bag. Or there's, there's other ways to line the bag. People started using yarn and like cutting out little holes with the little rotary cutter. I like that way. I might get me a little cutter. Let's get started. <laughs> Trim off these little thingy things. We just put it in like that. I'm gonna try. To oh, I messed up a little bit. I sewed too close to the edge and it opened up. So I'm basically gonna fold like this over, start lining it up to the edge. Just make sure it's all in there and then we're gonna pin it down. feels like now it definitely feels a little bit more heavier and way better than earlier because it just felt empty but now it feels all heavier and cute she is not getting this bag i am stealing it from her and she's not getting a birthday gift so yeah it's the finished bow bag So checklist before I pack this order. So I took pictures of it. 
I did my videos. I waited. It's time to... What, girl? It's time to let him go home to his home. I'm going to miss him. What, girl? Oh, my... Y'all, my cat... Evgeny is so clingy now. Like, I, I, be, I be trying to film a video. She just... Meow, meow, meow. Come here. Look at this big old monkey. You want me so bad? You want me so bad? You can stay right here. You want you so bad. You want you so bad. Look, so distracting. I don't even have my shipping stuff together yet. But I'm going to just do a quick little lick bro. I hope, I, I hope they like it. Okay, so packing. First, I have to even I have to print out the shipping label. So this is kind of unorganized. My stickers are not in here. They're in my market bag. And let me get organized first. I'm sorry, y'all. So I got everything laid out. Let me show you guys. Laid out. We got my baby Chucky in the pickle. I got my care my care sheets. My thank you cards. I still need to like redo that because that's not even my colors anymore. Business card and some free stickers, tape. So I was trying to think of putting this in here so it's more protected, but I don't like to waste. I try to be eco friendly and just wrap it up with paper. But I'm starting to think that that's not that secure because what if it rains and when the package is out or something? So I was thinking um, just putting it in a bag and then putting it in a box. Uh, I hope this is good. I'm going to try this out. Maybe I do like line the box up with the paper first. I always do that. But I feel like it's not that secure. And I see some other businesses just wrap them in plastic. But I don't want to use... I don't want to use plastic at all. Like, I'm trying to move away from plastic in my packaging. And this is the closest thing to plastic I'll do. Because this is my mailers. These are my mailers. So, I want to move away from that. Bye. See you later. Alright, let's try to put them in here now. Okay, so. Let's just put his legs in. Put his arms in. Oh, also, I have to write a note too, so I cannot forget the note. Just let them know, like, thank you for ordering. Make sure you fluff them out, fluff these guys out when you take them out the packaging. Oh, his hair is sticking out. Okay. So that's the best we will do with wrapping it. And then we're gonna get some paper. His head all oh, grounded guys here talking in the background my boyfriend can't avoid people talking in the back so we basically have to choke him to death and then grab and then tie this up and then we have him in a body bag so we got him ready and then for the pickle, we're just going to wrap them up with two layers of paper. Goodbye, pickle. Roll it up. And then fold it. This is a burrito. Hold on. You get hungry. Fold it up. Take this burrito up. He talks so loud. Off. Stick it here. We got everything packed up. I'm about to write this letter to them, add the stickers and stuff in there. Thank <laughs> you.
package all packed up. Here we go. And all I got to do is weigh it and then print out my shipping label and then drop it off at the post office. After I drop this off, I am going to finish up this BMO for my other cousin. I already got, a, already got started on it the other day. It's literally almost done. It's a very easy pattern. So yeah, we're going to finish that up together. And base of the body done now all we got to do is make the screen the little buttons and the face and then that's it That is BMO. So that wraps up my crochet diaries video of me making birthday gifts and working on my custom order. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys like the video. And if you do like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to get more videos from me. And make sure you comment down below your opinions and questions or whatever you have. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I'll see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.